Hey everybody, happy Friday. This is Barrick, Matthew Anderson, Community Manager here at Portalarium. And on Shroud of the Avatar, I always make these introductions really official. Everybody knows who we are now. And I've got Chris Seawolf Wolf. Uh, that's really confusing, so we just probably say Seawolf. Seawolf's fine. Yeah, I think we cleared that up the last time you were on uh, the live stream here. And this is our weekly Friday community live stream exclusive to the community. We actually need to do more community stuff, which we will probably uh, next week. Actually, we have some things planned. And then, of course, release 43 is coming up. We're deep into release 42 right now, but we got a lot of really cool stuff to show you guys in the next couple weeks as release 43 gets closer and closer, including some really cool artwork, by the way, by Fletcher Kinnear, one of our character artists here at Portalarium, who is putting some things into the weekly update for you guys. And I was working on that just before this live stream kicked in. So I really would like to see what you guys think of it because it's something that we've done a little bit differently, including one piece that I don't know if we've actually announced yet to the community, the Shroud of the Avatar. The Shroud yeah. itself. The Shroud yeah. itself. Yes, that, that is not, cool. we're not talking about the game name at the moment here, but the Shroud of the Avatar or the Avatar Shroud or however you can say that, that it's not confusing. So the Shroud of the Avatar for Shroud of the Avatar is going to be in the game uh, in, I think it's release 43 is what we're targeting, but there's some other cool stuff that he's also working on too, that one being the highlight. Richard was going to join us here. Uh, he is uh, deep into a bunch of other stuff, so I was just going to go over a couple of quick things, a couple of reminders. We've had this announced for a couple of weeks now, but the Seed Invest campaign has been something that uh, you guys have seen in the emails over the last couple of weeks in social updates, and I, I expect most of the community knows about it by now, but it's something we're very excited by, and usually Richard and others, you know, jump on and talk to about it, including, uh, you know, trying to, you know, get other ways of reaching out to the community as much as possible to answer their questions about it. Things like uh, our last, uh, this past week's Q&A webinar with Seed Invest itself. They helped host a webinar where we, we were seeing a lot of questions from the community on what, what is Seed Invest? Well, I don't understand this. Why, how, how do you invest? Uh, what does investment mean? What, what are the, you know, any concerns that they have and clarifications in general. So we, we hopefully got to most of your questions there. I know there's I, little, I know there's some more to be answered in general in the community. We only had so much time, about an hour I think it was, but the recording is now available. We've announced that on social and on the website. You can check it out. It'll be in the weekly update and in the email of the weekly update. So if you want to catch up on what Richard said, he talks a little bit about the company, talks about the game, talks about where we're heading with everything and gives you some, some good information. It's, it's a solid presentation, it's not overly long. I actually want to say that his presentation was about 20 minutes and the rest was Q&A. Let's see what other news we have. Well, but, you know, we introduced you yeah. and everybody's probably thinking, what, what the hell are we going to show actually here? I see boats and water and a pretty cool scene. And now some of the, the what we're going to show today is a uh, scene called Celestis that's already yeah, in the game, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so he's driving around on that right now while I, I go off on the list of news items here for you guys. So we'll get back to this Celestis scene shortly. But if you want to also check out a little bit more about it after this live stream, the weekly update has a recent sneak peek video of the scene that we put out on yesterday, I think I it think was. I think it was yesterday, yeah. Yeah, yesterday. So it's fresh, still hot on YouTube. Check it out there, youtube.com slash portalarium. And we'll have more in the weekly update regarding the scene as well. So some other news uh, around Seed Invest, actually. We have a Reddit AMA with Richard Garrett himself and probably Star, who's going to be back in the office this, this Monday. Yep. We're hoping, yeah, yeah, he had, uh, he had a little bit of a uh, sickness 
And then vacation, right? Yeah, and then it'd be, <laughs> I pause there because I'm like, I, I, I guess it's a sickness or whatever you call it, but he, he's uh, definitely he was, very ill, and yeah, then he, I think he went on vacation after. Right, he was down for a couple of weeks on the, on that, and then went on a well-deserved vacation. So anyway, I, me I mentioned that last time, but he, he's going to be back next week, so you're going to see posts by him, and he is also going to be participating in the Reddit AMA. The details of the Reddit AMA are on the front page of the website. It'll be in this weekly update. It's coming this Tuesday. Well, I say this to you know how many people I know that say yeah, correct me when I say this Tuesday and they're like what do you, you mean, mean yesterday Tuesday? and I'm like no next 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 week this next whatever so the <laughs> next the Tuesday that hasn't arrived yet but will shortly it's on reddit.com slash r slash we're we're promoting it on soda underscore official which. A little clarification there from what that means from slash r slash Shroud of the Avatar subreddit. Shroud of the Avatar subreddit is the community subreddit. So where the anybody who wants to talk about the game in general goes to that subreddit. Community controlled. They talk about all things seed invest game. Richard Garriott star. Uh, sometimes they talk about me. I find that oh it's cute. It's very nice. You know, <laughs> makes me feel good. Always positive, 100% positive, and other th stuff too around the game. Uh, so that's the place you know you go and check it out and hang out. Also, there are a couple of new subreddits that I just saw one this morning actually that was created that's specific to the game. Now, what I mean by that is they don't talk about Seed Investor, the company, or anything like that. It is specific to if you have like a question about a scene, or you want to join others in PvP or something like that completely game focused uh, no politics no none of the other stuff and so that's very cool so it's great to see you guys creating new subreddits back to soda underscore official the reason we created that well that's been actually created for a few years now i think it's been four years since that subreddit has actually been up and we just decided to restart it because we saw that there was a, a really kind of a lack of reach out to the community Yes, we have been trying to post in the community subreddit, Shroud of the Avatar, Chris, uh, not you, other uh, the other Chris Spears has been uh, heavily involved in there. Uh, we post on the official Portalarium account and just try to get involved, but there's so much going on there that we want to make sure that when we are involved in something on Reddit, it's more noticed. And so the subreddit, uh, Soda underscore official, SOTA again, is just the place for us to organize news, really. So it's announcing things like the Reddit AMA. Will the Reddit AMA actually take place on there? We're looking at having that actually on there. We, we were looking at working with the moderators and the community at large on the Shroud of the Avatar subreddit to put it on there. Uh, but it's this is mostly going to be focused on Seed Invest. Yes, we're going to take questions about the game as well. But we, we have a lot going on, and we want to make sure that nothing is missed there and that it's focused. Uh, does that mean some more moderation? Yes, that means some more moderation, but we, we can't have it be completely chaotic and overtaken and other stuff. So just for this one, I think we're going to keep it focused to Soda Official, but we definitely want to work with uh, the moderators and the team over at the subreddit, Shroud of the Avatar, for other stuff. So we'll have Reddit AMAs over there too. Don't worry about that. We're not looking to like drown it out and take it over or something. Uh, that's been rumors in the community. So just trying to organize. You guys know me in the forums, organizing things left and right all the time to make it easier for you guys to find stuff. So that's really the goal. So enough of that. Let's see. We have one more announcement that I wanted to put out there in advance of the weekly update. Comic-Con. I have not actually been to Comic-Con, but I hear it's F amazing, if I may say so. Just I haven't been. I have not been to one yet either. The, so. the, the cosplay been to many alone, conventions, but I've never been to. A yeah, there, there's new TV shows that are being announced and all sorts of crazy stuff, including, including. I'm not just saying that because I'm excited about Comic Con. Richard Garriott and Star Long are both going to be there. They're going to be there. Uh, what what is the date? Uh, July 20th to the 23rd. So which which Comic Con is this? Is this San Diego. Oh, okay. Yeah, the the, yeah. the the main the, the one, I guess one, if you will. The real the, Comic Con. The big one. Comic Con San Diego International, I think is what it's called. So we're going to have two. 
I think they're panels. So Richard will actually Richard, I think, is speaking a little bit about his space adventures and some other things at Comic Con first, and then that'll be followed up with a panel with Richard Starr, and I believe there might be somebody else. But the weekly update will have general details of what those panels are. The times and locations are yet to be determined. Those usually come a little bit closer to the event. So watch out for those. If you get a chance to go to Comic Con, first, congratulations. Second, I want to see some really crazy photos that you take there. But we'll cover those panels and give you some details of what they talk about. I think they may be recorded. If they are, we'll have those in the recordings in a, a weekly update as well. Uh, so very cool on that. Uh, I didn't write it in here, but again, SodaCon is coming up this fall. I believe the dates are. I didn't write those down either, obviously. October 13th or 15th. Somebody yell at me if that's wrong, but check out the website. The weekly update has the calendar for that as well. And we're really excited about SodaCon because it's here in Austin. And I want to mention that each time on this community live stream because not everybody watches it and if you're just you know catching up on you know you, you're a new player and you're wondering you know hey I want to meet Richard I want to meet Star I want to talk to the team I want to see what Farrick's up to and hang out with them for a day or two well SodaCon's the the next thing to do that with so we're very excited to have that in Austin gonna give some tours of the studio and just hang out with you guys it's gonna be really a lot of fun Celestis all right so so what do you what do you got for us? We're gonna give prizes away too, guys. So stay tuned for that. Um, but let's uh, see what see what has to roll in here. So I'm gonna start off at the beginning. And just a disclaimer: this map is still being worked on. <laughs> so if it looks unpolished, it's because it is. Looks really great to me. Yeah, I only got about another day to work on this. If so. you guys have any questions for Seawolf here on this scene, please ask them. Uh, maybe a good thing to start with, actually, is where is Celestis in? So New it's Asia? near. It's like right across the lake from Solania. It's in the um, perennial coast area, hence the, uh, the sort of Asian deco. Uh, and this is a, not a player run, oh yeah, it's a player, not a player owned town. It's, player run town. Yeah, yeah player run town, and uh, it's also an NPC town. There currently aren't any NPCs here that are noteworthy, but uh, according to Lum, there, there will be in the future. Uh, so yeah, I'll start off. This is kind of the town center. Uh, Definitely a huge overhaul from what it was before. It was very flat. Uh, anytime I see something flat, I like to make it unflat. I like I love verticality. Just it gives you cool sight lines. Uh, just it's just prettier. Yeah, <laughs> more dynamic like, more and yeah, why not? Just you know, making things vertical. I mean, I, I try to do that in my house. Just like pile stuff in corners, and it's just better that way. So over here we have you know a little market. Uh, probably probably be one or two vendors over here. That'll be up to Dan. That's usually the last thing place yeah. scene, right? That's yeah. vendors and stuff. Yeah. Uh, and that'll be somebody else doing that. But up here, uh, I thought it would be cool to kind of have a, a stage where players could, you know, do plays or even uh, have like a dance floor. And uh, you can't, you may not be able to see it. I don't know. I, no, wow, that's seamless. Almost seamless. Right there is a trap door. And I don't have it working yet. I'll probably have it working uh, on Monday. But right, right on his feet. I don't. See yeah, it, right uh, here. You see that seam right there? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So that is either going to be a trap door or an elevator. Hutch had the idea. Of, I thought it would be cool to have a trap door, but Hutch suggested maybe an elevator. That might. I think that would be more useful. I think it should be a spring launcher. Like you step <laughs> on it and launches you to somewhere. Well, some well the, other scene. I, the idea is that you know actors or whatever could enter the stage through that or exit the stage through you know the middle. Uh, so yeah, it's just, it'd be kind of cool for No or you know Kabuki uh, theater. Uh, a lot of this is uh, culturally it's inspired by Japan. Uh, you know, I, I definitely had Japan in mind when I when I placed the, the structures, um, but the terrain is is inspired by the uh, those limestone mountains in Japan, uh, which are in a park that I cannot I can't pronounce the name. I don't speak Chinese, so Japanese. No, no, no. no. The is terrain the terrain is Chinese. Oh, so I, I wanted to go with a mix. Oh, so oh, that's cool. Culturally Japanese, but uh, I wanted you know those kind of those higher those tall mountains. I couldn't make them too tall. I would I would call them earth stuff, earth because stuff. like you know to call a call a mountain, you know a, a anyway I'm getting into philosophical stuff. We nobody <laughs> wants to hear about that right now. Uh, th we do have a kind of a comment from Varandrakis. Uh, 
Where did where did it go? Baron, you typed too much. I, I lost it already. Um, oh, yes. He says, it should be a burning pit of fire, the trap thing, I think. Or an, <laughs> ac an acid... Scorpions that are that shoot acid or something it's like not, that. It's not supposed to be. Or a maybe trap. both. <laughs> trap door might be uh, a little misleading. Uh, it's supposed to be a tool that you know people can use if they want to role play a play, uh, or if they just want to mess with people that are dancing. I don't know. Uh, so over here I have a little Zen garden, rock Ooh, garden. Yeah, we put this in the. You took a screenshot of this for the weekly update. Too. Yeah, yeah. So I created this little. Are you supposed to step Normal on map and, you know, You're probably messing it up. Yeah, you know, I, it should be, but we, we don't have, foot, we don't have footprints down. yet. But yeah, there you go. Cross my fingers one day, right? So, yeah, you're supposed to go on the path. Uh, over here we have a little koi garden, or koi garden, koi pond. There are frogs and things like that. We don't have frogs in the game. I don't think we have frogs. No we frogs. We do have, yeah, we don't have frogs. Uh, but, yeah, there's some koi in there. You can kind of see them. Floating they're kind frogs. of inactive. I need to crank their speed up a little bit. Sort of lazy. Zen gardens. So uh, people are asking, I want a Zen garden, maybe for their castle lot or, or all the way down to non row probably would fit whatever. That would be cool. Also, not my department. <laughs> so <laughs> mine, I don't know, I don't know if that's even possible. This is all, this is all uh, dreaming uh, from people who don't decide these things. So. Yeah. How about we give some prizes away? Sure. So yeah. Throw some in there. So we've got. The list of three items. We've got, uh, just so you guys know, and then I'll let uh, Seawolf here pick. Two leather guard armor. Uh, so leather guard armor in the... These are all, by the way, items found in the add-on store. So you go to the website, main menu, all the way to the right, store, click, go down to add-on, and you can see all of these in various categories. The leather guard armor, I believe, is in the wearables category now. And we're giving two of those away. Also, two of the sigil set of your choice. So there's several sigil sets. These are very cool. We've re we released these in R42, this last release of the game. So pick one and let, you know, if you win, let us know which one you want. It doesn't include, by the way, the entire pack of them. Like, that wouldn't really be a choice. That's like, there's no loopholes here today, ladies and gentlemen. And the Another choice, Dark Star or Lord British Fur Collar Cloak. You know, it's getting a little cold here this 100 degree summer in Austin, so this is something that we could use. Either the Dark Star or the Lord British Fur Collar Cloak. We're giving two of those away. So what, which, which one should we go with? Um, saying e either one of the, the Dark Star or Lord British Collar, or is that one? That's, that's, that's one. one. They, get, they choose either the Dark Star Cloak or the Lord British Cloak. That sounds like the coolest thing, so I kind of want to go with that. Go, go with that first. All right. So if you're if you're just joining us, Discord or Twitch, we are looking at both right now. Type in exclamation cloak, exclamation C L O A K for a chance to win your choice of a dark star or Lord British cloak. As a reminder, for anybody who wins, and I say this every time, I know some people are like, oh my god. Well, guess what? Some people don't at follow up. You need to message Beric. That's me, B E R E K. If you win from Discord what you won, what your choice is, if there's a choice, and your account name so that we can award it to you, giving a few days for us to award it. Same thing for Twitch. Twitch the name. Oh, no, no, there's no on there. <laughs> forgot that. There you go. See, we always, we always, this is why we do the live streams, because every time there's always something that's like, oh, i got to fix that. So <laughs> this is oh, really yeah, a Q&A session, everybody. Going through that I'm like, oh, i got to fix that, got to fix that. So for the Twitch name, Shroud of the Avatar, just message us. Just let us know. And it's the same thing for any of these times where you're winning prizes. Going back to the Summer Telethon, we have another round that came in over the last few days of people asking, where's my prize? I haven't received my prize. And maybe we're not doing that great of a job with the hecticness of the Telethon announcing that you need to please let us know if you, what these details are so you can win a prize. Please do that if you haven't received it yet and you haven't actually talked to us yet. If I've said, yes, it's coming, well, then just, you know, please be patient. We've already talked with you. Um, but sometimes these do take a while, partly for that reason, and we apologize for that. But prizes are on the way. I'll give it another minute, exclamation, cloak, guys, and then we will award those. 
I hope that whoever lives here likes this. <laughs> is this actually a available lot? Yeah. Wow. I, I think this is a Lord of the Manor. If I'm correct. It looks like a Lord of the Manor. So going back for a moment, this scene, everybody can check out the scene in the game, but it's still a clone scene for them. Yeah, yeah. So you're working on uncloning it, polishing mm -hmm. it up, making it look like the perennial coast area of the game, which is the, a starting area of the game where you start basically. So if you're a new player, you'll be able to visit the scene um, pretty almost immediately. It depends immediately. on which, which quest you do, but yeah. yeah. And um, so you, there, we have these spaces for lots and houses to be placed. Are they available in the current scene, or is it... Like, is there houses there now, and then... I don't know. They're, they're probably... I assume that they're all purchased. Did you... <laughs> uh, I don't know if anybody's built anything on Yeah, that. see, that. What we tr the reason I mention it is what we try to do when we unclone scenes, uh, there's a lot of scenes that are have uh, kind of a generic copy to them so that we can get some other basic things in as we develop the game because the game's still in early access and all. But we make, we've been making tremendous progress on getting those clone scenes, uncloned, unique with a style to those areas, quests, NPCs, and lots. And if there is a scene that's cloned that has lots in it already, you have a nice house, you have that Lord of the Manor house, and you're wondering, well, the, okay, I heard this scene is going to be uncloned. Uh, what happens to my house? Nothing happens to the house because we don't really touch those lot areas. We decorate and move and adjust things around them. At least that's the general idea. Yeah, and I also I, I try hard not to... Uh you know change anybody's view because i know a lot of people will pick a place you know specifically because it has a nice view so uh if anything i'll try to improve the view uh but uh you know that's stuff that we try to take in consideration sometimes uh, if i if i notice that uh, like a, a lot is placed in, a, in an awkward area that's sort of difficult to get to i'll make it easier to get to uh, like this lot, for instance. There's a lot up here. Uh, this trail was here before, but there was no trail on the front, on the front side, which is closest to the town center. If I'm at the right lot that I'm thinking of, let me scoot over real quick. So I added a little trail to it. Uh, you know, I'm on the wrong way. It's this one. So I added a little trail here, just to make it easier, you know, for them to travel, you know, either way. Uh, yeah. Just little things like that, you know, I, I try to yeah, nice. help players out in that regard. Can uh, you do me a favor? Uh, mm -hmm. Click on Chrome. Sure. Uh, we don't know what's going to pop up here, so... Okay, you guys can't see it. That's good. Uh, drag that over to the left of XSplit. We're doing some post production Up current, on the main screen. Yep. We're doing some production work here, folks. And then... Here, just give me the picture. <laughs> yeah. Let's see that. All right. Let's see. All right. Whoops, I just clicked on something. What is that? I was hip chat. Oh, you hip chatting. Okay, that's safe. All right, what am I doing? I am going here. Okay, there it is. There it is. And what is that? John Wick 2 ad. I heard that's a good movie. And it's like, I don't know if it's actually, yeah, it's out. If you guys have heard of John Wick 2, let me know if you've seen it. I think it's out already. I've heard some <laughs> stories about it. Anyway, you want to leave that there we go. pause like that? Yes, that, okay. yeah, that's fine. We'll stare at that guy while we're watching all of your stuff. Okay. Where was I? Uh, well, Anyways, before you get into that, actually, uh, let's give away those quotes before I forget. So, congrats to Brent Saz, S-A-S-Z, Brent Saz, I guess is his last name, and Dragur for winning a cloak, Dark Star or Lord British, fur collar cloak. Let me know which one you want, what your account name is, and please uh, post uh, if it's Discord Barrack, if it's Twitch Toronto the Avatar, send that message to me ASAP. Congrats, everybody. we got more items to give away shortly. One of these days I'm going to troll them, and I'm going to go, yeah, we got all these items to give away, and then... We don't give anything away. <laughs> no, I want to do that to you guys. I'm, I don't know why I would do that. I, why, why do trolls do anything like that? That's a good question. I don't know. 
So we've already seen this area, so I will go somewhere else. Uh, the town center is probably the most interesting spot. There, there are, uh, just to let you guys know, there are five Easter eggs uh, throughout this map. I turn them off so that I, that I don't accidentally show them. But they're all sort of cultural references to um, basically old Japanese samurai flicks. If you're a Kurosawa fan or anything nice. like that, you'll you'll probably recognize some of these things. Uh, also, I got to give a shout out to Fletcher for helping me with that for some of the art. Uh, can't say any more than that. Well, he I don't, don't want to give too much away, but he, he created something kind of cool for the players. Not the stuff that, level. not the character stuff that we're showing in the week. No, 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 yeah. it's not character related. Well, it's, yeah, it's not uh, that. Obviously, it's yeah, not yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> I see a path going up there. Did you show that already? Like there's a... Yeah, I can show the pagoda again. I don't know right. where it goes. I, I'm just, I'm as curious as they are because I, guys, I don't get to see these scenes uh, in this detail usually until we show it on the live stream. So these guys are working on it furiously over the week, or the you know, last few weeks, but touching it up usually on the last week before we show it to you guys. And so it's just exciting to see the changes. Yeah, so it's a little pagoda. I might actually make this bigger so that it's a little bit more, you know, so that it really dominates the, uh, the horizon. But got Sequana in here. This is still a work in progress. It doesn't have collision, <laughs> so I'm not gonna go over there. Uh, trying to think what else I can show you. There's a couple of koi ponds. Uh, I did revamp one of the waterfalls. So you can go take a look at that real fast. Oh, yeah, cool. There's those castles again. No, wait, that's a keep, I think. Right? I, I don't. It's a keep. The other one's castle. I can't tell. Oh, side, Let me find my waterfall. What's, what's that uh, behind? Uh, turn? That? Turn? Yes. Oh, this is just a lot that you purchase and it becomes an island. So a water lot. Yeah, it's a water, got water lot. lots here, too. That's yeah. cool. Uh, do I remember where my waterfall is? Maybe it yeah, dried up. Somewhere. Here it is. Here we go. Okay. Ooh, so this should look a little nicer. The last one was uh, kind of hard to see. Um, and I'm going to put some koi in here too, I think. Is there treasure? Like, is there a little cave under the waterfall? And... No, nothing that elaborate. This isn't an adventure scene, so... Well, yeah. You know, there there are the Easter eggs that you can kind of look for, and if you're a fan of old Samurai Flex, I think you'll like that. Uh, and if you're not, then you should go watch them. <laughs> and then you will be. How old? Uh, it's Kurosawa's 60s, I think. Wow. Okay. So they're, they're good movies. You know? Classic. Some of them are more recent. Like Zatoichi is pretty recent. Uh, so you should have a, like a book they place in the scene somewhere. Maybe under the waterfall. But that wouldn't make any sense. But somewhere else. And it has like a list of like, of course I don't know if you can do that, but you know like hints of like yeah, I could do some stuff. I don't know, you know, a, a secret book. I like reading, so yeah. Well, we we do use waterfalls as secrets to death. In other words, we we're constantly using secrets that. Secrets so to death. Secrets. That was a little, that was a confusing sentence, right? Uh, what I mean is that we often use waterfalls, uh, as secret, you know, points of interest. So I try not to use that too much because. Mm. We have Mac. I don't want every single uh, waterfall to have a secret. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Kind of loses the impact, so. Sure. Macklinos says we should, where did it go? We should give away a, wish, a wishing well that actually gives anything of value. Yes, that's, that's an interesting idea. So basically, you you get a wishing well, and then you can get whatever the hell you want in the game from the wishing <laughs> well. You just keep clicking on it, and out pops some random stuff. I like the idea of randomness. I do have to say that. So maybe if it was random, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> like you get you get a random thing. Yeah, yeah and usually it's flotsam or you'd have to dirt have or whatever. Limited uses then. I see. Um, sure. As fast as you can click. <laughs> The Wishing Well of Books. Oh, pops tons and tons of books that haven't been written yet so that you can actually claim that you've written them and then sell. I guess I haven't really shown the harbor yet, so I can run over to there. Well, let's give away another set of prizes, everybody. Uh, we've got two sets left. Okay. Uh, let's do the Leather Guard arm. Leather Guard. All right. And uh, this is also, again, in the store, so you can check it out, see what... Uh, well, in this case, it's just the Leather Guard armor. So this is the not-your-choice choice. choice. We've given away two of these type exclamation armor 
in either Discord or Twitch if you want to win one of those. I should... We, we need to take more time on these, and I, I need to set up uh, the game with these items so that we can show it off in the game. It's, it's really cool armor, and I didn't think of that until just now. Yeah. Well, you know, we did have him set up with the, the Shroud earlier, but somebody killed the, the hot oh, tub player yeah. character. So it's not on his character anymore. No, in the I don't think I have it. I don't have anything. Wow. Yeah, it's an empty character. I might be Lord Mi I'm, I'm Lord Minus. Can't you go to a decoration station? Yeah. I could, no, but I don't, I don't know, I don't know where it is. I mean, I'd have to look for it. Yeah, I don't know if we have. Do you want to show? We can maybe we can go look. Do we have anything else to show? We'll, we'll finish showing this stuff off, and then I'm I'm just curious. So we'll see if we can find it. The Oracle. Yeah, we added a little Oracle. Uh, can't think of the word right now. Confirmatory. Sure. Uh, Building. At request. At, I think it was at Lum's request that we do that. Yeah. So. A little convenience for players. Yeah, the harbor here is really nice. Yeah, it still has to be propped. Like I gotta add crates and make it look like people actually do things here. Uh, but yeah, I wanted it to be a, a major update. I didn't, the, the other harbor was a little underwhelming, so this is kind of cool. If you guys have any questions, let us know. One more minute for exclamation armor. The English, uh, or I should say the United Kingdom English that version of armor does I I caught one but it may not catch in our system here armoire is definitely not right uh, so make sure you spell it A R M O R for it to catch otherwise you may not get into the spin of wind yeah that's pretty much it I mean I've showed most of the highlights. Uh... You know, general overview of the map, we've got a big changes in terms of terrain, in terms of obviously the architecture, but also the vegetation. You know, going for somewhat swampier feel, but also not not too swampy, right? This is supposed to be sort of the the nice community, like the uh, the gated community. Uh, you can close that ad. I'm getting tired of being looking at me. Not that one. Yep, that one. It says close ad on the corner. The other one. Other. Down. Yep. <laughs> Okay. So yeah, lots more, you know, lots of bamboo, uh, a couple of cherry blossom trees, um, and these sort of these things I think they're called banyans or something, but they, they kind of remind me of weeping willows, even hmm. though they're not weeping willows. Neat. Yeah, yeah this so, is really this is a nice. You said not really an adventure scene, but it's it'd be a really adventure just walking through here. Yeah, I want to make it interesting at least. You know? Yeah, I want people to want to live here, so. I want to live there. That's, that's cool. Well, thank you. So, do you want right. to scoot over to the uh, other scene? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, why don't you go over there? Uh, I am giving. Oh, well, we have a question actually before I give away those prizes. Question from Crazy Phil. Uh, nothing to do with your scene. Sorry. Sorry. I don't think anyway. <laughs> uh, is Northwood on schedule for uncloning soon? That that actually is a good question. That is a star question. That is a star <laughs> question. That is a that is the one question in the universe we can't actually answer. I'm sorry. It is probably going to be, I assume, at some point. I mean, if you know, every all the clone scenes are on schedule to be uncloned, but I couldn't tell you in what order there. We'll get them on Friday. Make sure you uh, join in for the live stream next Friday. Same time, and we'll get Star in here and ask your question. Uh, send me a, a PM of that question in the forums so that we can write it down, and I'll make sure it gets to him. Well, we have R42 here. It wouldn't be under there, would it? No. Is there an R43 chest? I don't see one. So this is... They may not have moved it in there yet. It, it turn around. Sometimes he throws it in, like, over there. Yeah. See, look at that right there. So this is our uh, what we call decoration station, a test scene, if you will, where we can create well, all the items that are created can be placed here. We can test them all, make sure they work, and also use them to take screenshots for the updates and such. And it looks like oh, that's the just one. the regular leather guard armor, but something... Is it that not what R43 we're looking for? Chest? That's weird. Well, it's in, I don't know why it's in the R43 chest. I don't know where it's see what it looks like. 
This is not the armor. This is not that, the, Oh, oh, okay. Is it? No, n no, but um, let's get a good look at it because this actually, this is armor that is in, maybe you can do a slew or something, you know, face the sun and then yeah. give you a slew. This armor is one of the armor sets that Fletcher is working on. And I believe since it's in the R43 chess, spoiler alert, it's going to be in the game in R43, which is coming up in a couple of weeks. And he will have some screenshots in the weekly update we're putting together right now with that armor set. So there you go. That is one of the sets that's uh, going to be coming soon. That's really, yeah, that's really neat. And the only one in that chest, wasn't it? That's the only one I'm seeing. I can go back and look, but yeah, well, I, think I, I think I grabbed everything. You, all, you guys have to check the weekly update for more armor sets. We also have you know, the Shroud of the Avatar That's it. and some weapons, too, he was working on as well. And oh, we're going to yeah, show a preview see. of some of that. Yeah, uh, well, see those stay in there tuned. There. We, there's a code that we can use if we knew the code, but we don't know the code, so that doesn't help. Yeah. All okay. right, well, there you go. We try. Yep, we try. Sometimes it takes, you know, a few more days to get stuff for us in there. Too far. I mean, I could run to Rick and, you know, hey, what's the code for that? Uh, but, all right, so. There will be posts about it. There sure. will. All right, we, we're giving away the, well, speaking of leather guard armor, me, 77777, that was not a starter, me, 7777, there's four five sevens, it was a little hard to tell, in Twitch. Congratulations on winning a leather guard armor set, or yeah, set. And Sandford R, Sandford R, so it sounds. Congratulations also for winning a leather guard armor set. You two it looks like you two were in Twitch. Message Shroud of the Avatar with what you won, what I just mentioned, and that what your uh, code name is, so that we can. We remember so that when I'm screaming out of here at the end of the live stream, I don't forget. Although it may take a couple of days, uh, we usually, you know, maybe if we push these to Thursday, we get those items to them by Friday. But you know, it's usually pretty late for us to do it before the weekend. So we'll have that to you Monday or Tuesday as soon as possible. But there you go. Congrats, guys! Very exciting. Some cool stuff. I don't even have a leather guard. In fact, all the stuff we give away, I never like. I don't have it in the game because I try not to like. You know, it's you gotta. How I try you get, not to cheat. Well, you know, <laughs> unless I'm representing and showing, you know, I'm not gonna like start hoarding. I'm not a hoarder like that. All right, what else we have? One more set of prizes, sigil set of your choice. That was confusing. Sigil set. Go to the add-on store front page. You'll see all the sets of sigils. Very cool, both wall and floor decorations. Where are we going now? It's back to Celestis. Just oh, so that they, can, okay. they don't have to look at Deco Station. Right, yes. It's we as much as there is for decoration in Deco Station, we don't have uh, a lot of you know, it's just throw it wherever you can find it. I'm gonna go uh, why don't you just keep walking around? Sure. I'm gonna go check with Rick, see if there's a code to get that Charlie Avatar. See if we can show that to the community here. I'll be right back. So some of the feedback I got on this level was uh, something that I really want to see, which is junks uh, or stampans, this uh, you know sort of Asian-inspired boats. I'd love to love to have some to put in this harbor. Unfortunately, we don't have any right now. I think that we go perfectly here. So all of the same um, NPCs will be here, uh, all of the same uh, resources and things like that. Uh, this is actually going to be the crafting pavilion, so you'll still have the crafting pavilion for those that live here that are con maybe concerned about that kind of thing. You'll still have your bank, your tavern. Uh, in fact, this is going to be the tavern right here. Uh, I'm not sure where the bank's going to go yet. Probably that building. Want to pop in, Chris? We're live streaming. If you want to say anything. It's so small. So I didn't bring the shroud, but I brought somebody else. 
<laughs> All right. Way back here. Yeah, I, well, you had this table set, I think it was you that had this set for the uh, tech talk, and mm -hmm. I thought, you know what, that's actually not a bad idea because then I don't have to turn the darn thing every time. The only problem is the cables are super short or to the computer, to the monitor here, so we need to, like 20 foot DVI and 20 foot power cables. And that, would, that would take care of it. Or even 10 feet, for that matter. So, are you guys going live? Oh, we're already live. Yeah, we're live now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're walking around Celestis, the uh, unclean scene here, and uh, gave away some prizes. Nothing you want to give away. Your shirt? No. We'll ship it. I don't think I have Your sunglasses? Extra. I got some extras. Okay. This will be a tavern when I'm done with it. It's a lot more decorating to do. And the other thing people should be noting here is the silky smooth frame rate and performance. Oh, yeah, that's right. I heard somebody uh, was tweaking that. I just actually just now put in yet another one that will be in uh, the next build. It's probably not even on this build. So we're going from, like, 30 frames per second to, like, anybody who has a 200 hertz monitor, right? That'll work? Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, just so people know, we were... Uh, I actually downgraded my video card to a cast off from the uh, QA department, which was a AMD 460, uh, which is like it's a fairly new card, but it's like the bottom end and is it's uh, to give you an idea of how uh, weak it is. It does not have a power attachment like you don't have to do the extra power. It gets all of its power from the PCI slot, so it's uh, it's been a long time since I'd seen one of those, but uh, I was testing an arteries today and still getting, after my changes, was getting up in the uh, 50 frames a second range. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, we've made a lot of progress with the performance, and, you know, it's it does get slow when there's a lot of characters on, on the scene at one oh, time. Oh, more. And, oh, really? So yeah, dance parties are going to be better. Get, it'll, it'll be better. It'll be better. Yeah, uh, but, characters uh, did not get much touching this yeah. time, just so... Uh, people know so high character scenes will probably still have some performance uh, issues but they should have a lot more room before they start getting bad it'll, it'll be much better well people wonder be like why you know why isn't this game as silky smooth 100 frames per second or even 60 as other games and you know there's for one this is an MMO with a lot of stuff in it but even so there's like you know we're in development it it takes a long time. Salesman, by the way. What am, I, am I being negative? Am I being too negative? People are asking why our game isn't as smooth as other games. I am. I am an honest. Like I'm just. Don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> now our game is so smooth. Look at this. It's so smooth right now. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's doing good. Uh, it actually is, should be much better. And actually, the I just fixed an inst or an issue that all those trees that you see were not instancing until just a few uh, minutes ago. And that is a massive performance difference on the CPU, which is really where we need to free up. I think we, we have somebody else. Uh, hello. Good evening. I, just, I saw the door open, but I thought I'd just sneak in and just say hi. Uh -huh. you know, like uh, Richard didn't go home. So I, I think they, yeah, they can probably see you. This is uh, Richard Gary. It's on his robot from where are you right now? I'm in uh, our New York office. New York. So he communicates regularly when uh, he is not uh, here right at Port Alarium because he, I think you work, uh, you, boy, you put in a lot of years for, for everybody, so you are daily, hours a day, working with just about everybody at the company constantly to look at all, look yeah, I just, I just everything. I live in a robot body. That's the, only, the only thing different than me than other uh, port employees is that I, I live in a robot body. Well, you didn't, you know, <laughs> a, a huge negative, I must say, of you strolling around with the robot is you don't get our wonderful Friday kolaches that was brings in. Uh, I'm looking at the worst part. I keep trying to figure out that technology that uh, Willy Wonka figured out about teleporting food, but uh, you know, I haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> uh, I'm watching the chat, and someone is asking, is this smoothness on live? And no, this will be in the next release, uh, which is two weeks from yesterday. So you got you got to wait two weeks. Uh, and again, we should see... We're not claiming it's perfect, but we have made huge leaps and bounds on performance, considering we just did it this one release, and we also got 
tons of other tech stuff. So basically, they should notice a difference. They should notice a significant difference, especially yeah, people and, on lower end. And, and I'm, I'm one of the frontline testers, as some of you know, and uh, I can vouch for this. I'm playing on dev already, and uh, I've been shocked at how speedily I've been able to get in and out of a variety of what used to be pretty painful maps, uh, and uh, and also the smoothness of moving around. Uh, is dramatically improved. So uh, anyway, I hope you guys will like it. Yeah, far fewer hitchers. Uh, we're still having a problem with preloading shaders, so there's still going to be some hitching, but we've uh, fixed a number of the bigger hitching issues that uh, we used to have. So it'll be better. It's not going to be perfect. Again, this is will be a big jump, but uh, don't think that we're like, you know, well, it's, you know, all done with performance. Well, can, it's yeah, it's one of those things we pretty much try to improve every single release, isn't it? I mean, no. In some way. In some way. <laughs> no. Now you're the one who's being negative. No, we normally just <laughs> shovel more and more uh, crap into the into the bag, and oh, and then that resets <laughs> our progress. <laughs> players yeah. suffer. Yeah, so you're, you know, you you guys are wondering why do I only have what is the limit on external lights for a house? Well, we raise that limit at some point, and then the performance goes back to what it was before, and, and that cycle rinses and repeats. So that's why. It's, if we gave you more lights, we gave you more things at once. It, it, you would not be happy with it as much as decorating limitations kick in right away. So there you go. Now we're in the Zen. We're gonna go Zen out here. In fact, I'm ready for a Zen weekend. Can is there a meditate? Uh... Is there a meditate emo? I don't know, but there's some. I know there's a yoga one, right? Yeah, there's. Yeah, there is. There you go. Look at that. Don't get sand in your shorts. <laughs> All right, let's give away the last set of prizes. Sigil set of your choice, right? That's the last one, I think. Yes, yeah, that's the last one. All right. So we've got two sigil sets. If you want to see what we're talking about with sigil sets, there's several in the add-on store of the. Just go to the main website, all the way to the right of the main menu, store, click on that, click on add-on in the drop-down, and on the front page of that, what loads, you'll see the bunch of sigil sets. Pick your choice, which one you want, and let us know uh, on Discord or Twitch. Type, well, you guys, once again, ahead of me here, this is great. You guys chose correctly, exclamation sigil. So if you want to win one, type that. And we'll give it a minute. We'll walk around a little bit more here. And we'll, don't let me forget, see, we'll to actually pick two winners before we log off. <laughs> okay. Well, have you done that before? I have. <laughs> okay. He's just keeping them for himself. So how long does it take from, to get from one side of the island to the other? Have you uh, clocked it in seconds? I have not clocked it in seconds. I'm a terrible game designer. I'm a game designer for that reason. Uh, well, if it know, was it's, easy, it's, uh, you you would be maybe a terrible game designer if it was that easy to actually like. Yep, it's 15 seconds. Or <laughs> well, that would be really short. I'm trying to figure that out. Well, it, it I know be, it's about. I think it's about 800 meters across. It wouldn't be very dynamic if you had to like if you were very consistent on that. Like you want to, like you said, you like the height and the twists and turns and stuff. So I don't want to yeah. know where the other side is. Frankly, I want to have a little mystery there. At least the first time walking through. How many entrances are in the scene? Well, it's an island, so there's no gates. Um, Infinity. Okay. So you take well, you can exit anywhere, I think. Yeah, uh, okay. The entrance, though, is the uh, there's a boat teleporter. Boat. Yeah, that makes sense. You come in. So you basically you come in from the harbor, and you can exit the harbor as well. But I'm pretty sure if you swim out far enough, there should be exit. <laughs> I haven't placed those yet, but I'm pretty sure the previous designer didn't put an invisible wall there. Yeah. <laughs> I would hope. Uh, yeah. You got some... Did we show the row houses there? The what, What's in the le on the left, over the hill, through the woods? Through the... On yeah, the, the, the all that's, that way? Yeah, we showed that, right? Those buildings? Oh, yeah. Those are just some row houses. They're, they're right next to the town center. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, so the row houses are... Nothing. You can, that's, well, it's the first level of being able to own a home. So row houses are the smallest. Yeah, and we have the, the, the Asian 
the variants of these. Yeah. So if you live here, don't be a jerk. Change your house to Asian style there if you, you haven't go. already. <laughs> <laughs> Got to be consistent. It's an it's not an HOA, but still. Yeah, we don't have HOAs. All right, so let's give away those two sigils, sigil sets. We have one going to Rutza, Rutza New and Solazur. Congratulations to you both for winning a sigil set. Message me, Barrick, if you're in Discord. I think it looks like both are in Discord on this one. Let me know what you won, which one you want, and your account name. A floating Zen garden would be sweet. Like floating Kibo rocks? says, yeah, it just floats around or something. Like uh, I could see that for. Uh, you can. We can actually. Like do a it. shard fall. I'm not allowed to make floating things unless it's a really? shard fall. Really? Yeah, because it has to do with the shard fall magic that makes rocks float. I could add. Well, add some rocks to the bottom of the Zen <laughs> That's garden. That's a cool I mean, idea. Zen though. gardens have rocks usually anyway, don't they? Right, right. But I think he, I think he means yeah. like a. I, I don't think I don't think he means floating on the water. I think he means like floating in the air. Yeah, it's floating yeah. with like a bunch of rocks. Obsidian ro or what did you say? Kind of rocks. Yeah, the obsidian. Yeah, the obsidian rocks. Yeah. The shardfall type yeah. rocks. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. Yeah, I can't add shardfall stuff in here. I'm not allowed. <laughs> so the answer is yes, they'll we can do that. They'll yell at me. <laughs> uh, whether it happens, not our call. Yes, but. A lot of possibilities, but that's the one thing with the game development is we, we, on a serious note here, we get a lot of feedback from you guys and try our best to evaluate what can we do here, uh, trying to remain, you know, consistent, um, especially if, you know, something's been planned for a while, does it, can we still do it, uh, is it possible from, you know, a feature that, that was suggested a while back, uh, you know, this is a complicated game and things don't always, it's like a puzzle, you know, it doesn't always fit perfectly when the pieces, you know, are not always determined right away. Yeah. I don't know if that, I, puzzle that's is probably a terrible analogy, maybe that's okay. <laughs> but anyway, there you go. All right, so I think, uh, why don't we take a rest stop at one of the, somewhere, wherever you want to leave off here, and then we okay. will depart for the weekend. We hope you guys are enjoying the game and having fun in release 42. As Chris popped in for a second to mention, release 43 is coming up in just under two weeks. Not next Thursday, but the Thursday after that. Though next week, if you are a Dev Plus member of the community, uh, Dev Plus, if you go to the, there's actually an explanation in the forms, but also in the store as well on what does Dev Plus mean. Ask the community and Discord if you are not Dev Plus and you want to be. That is a section of the forums where and an area where we release a QA build about usually we try to do a week in advance of the next release going live. We release a QA build for that release, that upcoming release, to the Dev Plus community to check it out provide us feedback, let us know what you guys think so that when release 43 and future ones actually go live, they are as polished as possible. And we want to hear from everybody. We want to hear your feedback on what you guys think of these next releases. It's very important for us because we're, you know, a lean team. We uh, are very careful with how we spend our money and we, we can't spend it on 50 QA team members to test stuff, which is for a project like this, typically what you would see, at least more than what we have. Yeah. There you go. So, uh, do you remember how to end it? Nope. Do you remember how to turn it on? I can Same turn thing. this off. Yeah. So go ahead and click on output. Oh yeah. And don't don't click anything else. Yeah, click it again. Don't click anything else yet. Hover over it. Don't click. I'll let you know when. All right. So see you guys. Have a great weekend. And looking forward to playing the game with you. I'm going to be in as well. Richard, Lord British, he's floating around the game usually. I think he is allowed to float in the game. <laughs> and I hope you, you have fun this weekend. See you later. All right, take care.